this initiative is primarily to ensure that we execute our mandate as provincial government in as best a manner as possible. One of those elements of this mandate is to integrate our work with those of municipalities. Development, for an example, for economic opportunities, is best driven by where you've got effective transportation systems. There is a need to really work with other stakeholders. One of those stakeholders is the transit environment in terms of PRASA for moving of uh, passengers and moving of goods with the, what they call the, 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 the goods section of, uh, of, uh, of transit. We believe that we could leave so much road space if we allowed freight, for example, to be taken off our roads to the rail. And the reason our assessment in this report seems to confirm that, that uh, a lot of freight has moved to the road space is primarily because of some inefficiencies that have crept in onto the rail side. Now, for whatever reasons they have, as provincial government with the responsibility to then prevail on them, assist them, work with them to ensure that the rail section can actually operate effectively to derive the benefits for which government, that is national government, invested in that uh, sector to, to realize. Otherwise, if we don't, we'll continue with the congestion on our roads for all different reasons. And therefore, decreasing our ability to be competitive as a province, both in terms of the cost of doing business, uh, carbon emissions, uh, delays, accidents, you name it, it's all going to happen if we don't intervene decisively. So this plan basically starts to take us in the direction of saying, what needs to be on the road, what needs to be on rail, what needs to be on air. Between now and the closing date for, uh, for, the, for the public comments, we are going to be having very specialized uh, bilateral discussions. So if we take, for example, the taxi industry, there are a number of suggestions. We will be meeting with them a day or a day and a half to really work through the proposals to see how they feel about it. Similarly with the bus industry, Freight industry is there. Some very significant proposals around freight. We, we will be hosting. I wouldn't call it a conference, but a but a, a dialogue session. Yeah, a working session with freight. Um, there are all sorts of proposals around roads, both at a municipal level and at a provincial level, incorporating some of the proposals of the Gauteng Freeway Improvement Project. So we will have to have a high-level meeting with with other spheres of government around prioritizing a set of roads between us and the municipalities over the next five years. We're looking at, at all the sources of funding. So it's not that e tolling is a holy cow. We are saying what is the best method of funding what, what we want to do. And uh, you know there's there's no magic in funding. Funding must come from somewhere. It must either come directly from the fiscus or it must come indirectly from, from a user pay principle.